whole Eddie B's got to tell you this is censored by Eddie B and there might be a little bit of language that's inappropriate and there may be a few racial slurs. But I just want you to know I'm just kidding you. Because Eddie B don't poke fun at people, he pokes fun at food. You go to a McDonald's and you go in there to pick up your order and you look them right in the eye and tell them you're there for this carry chick. His name's just all riled up and they don't know what this carry chick looks like. He said, that's that girl over there. No, it isn't. That's the girl shaking the fries, thinking of tunes in her head. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I didn't mean to embarrass you. Then I was at this other place. I stayed in this there hotel down in Lebanon. And then that manager, he, that man, I told him I smoked on his balcony, and that man, he tried to lie and say he wasn't the manager. And so I told him I threatened him, and I checked my bill today, and that there man, uh, man, he was freaking twitching, he must have been, because he took $20 off my bill. He didn't have to do that. He tried to charge me an extra 320 So he took $20 off my bill because it's probably after I threatened him. I said, hey, mister, I'm telling you right now. I'm a certified industrial equipment technician, and I can tell you right now, that room, you know, 259, yeah, that one 258 there where the sewage is leaking out of, and down in the downy downstairs, I don't know what that one was. It was probably 158. I thought you'd and try to charge me for smoking on the balcony and I'm gonna close you down. I'm gonna call up that there plumbing facility and that electric power company, whatever, whoever supplies your sewage. And I'm gonna close you down. That man's hemorrhoids must have been the size of freaking grapefruit. Say maybe watermelons. He was freaking chafing in his seat. Oh jeez. His horse was burning. No, oh, his eyes were burning. He was crying. No, oh, I made him feel terrible. Even after I left the room cleaner than I freaking started out, it was a dirty room. That's a true story. Then I was walking downtown, and I, this man, I walked up to him, I said, Sir, it looks like you're in the downy dumps. Hey, I'm old Eddie B, and I want to help you get that heart muscle pumping. What you think? See that ferry over there? That ferry over there, sir. Yeah, no, not that guy on the corner. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he is. Jeez. Yo, that's not poking fun at them. I'm not saying that guy was a ferry because I don't know him. But I was talking about the ferry boat. You know, some people get misconstrued nowadays. That's why I said about the racial slurs. I'm just kidding you because, you know, I don't know what that man. He was probably whatever he wants to be. You know, that's whatever people wants to be in life. Life is what you make of it. And that's all we got there. So I tell him that, and that man pulls five of them gold dollars out of his pocket. Puts them in my hand, and he said, you just made my day, sir. I said, you did mine, sir, because I helped you. So, hey, look, my dash is ready. You got to get her. On the dash. Hey, I'm, I'm doing a YouTube video right now. I'm doing a YouTube video yeah, I'm Eddie B, and I'm dashing America. I was down in Rose City, then I went to Earth. And I told my wife, one of these days I'm not going to show up. She's going to be like, where the hell are we going? And there I was. I'm not joking. Check out Eddie B, the Dashing Angel. Eddie B, the Dashing Angel. There's some crazy videos on there. I'll tell you what. Yeah, check it out. I'm trying to get views, but I'm not really doing it for all the fame, but you should see all the good I'm trying to do in this world. I've found some people that are the most glorious people I've ever met. All different cultures, and I love culture because you know what this is, what this world needs to forget. That's what it should be: culture, it's together, not cultures divided. Hey, give me a dog pound if you believe in that, my man. You have a good one. Hey, did you hear that? Cultures together, not divided. I'm trying to change the world one dash at a time. Hey, I can only reach you if he tells you the truth. Some of this stand-up stuff, I don't think I'm cut out for it because I've just froze up on this here camera and the other one too. And you can see it. I need your help. I got to start making something better of myself because I got to get me an audience. 
what you think. Tell me what you want me to do, and hey, I'll try to play her out for you. How's that sound? Y'all have a good one, yeah?